Give it up for Leslie Small. Leslie Small. Yeah. Keep it going for your beautiful hosts. Come on. He's hosting the shit out of the show. Only 800 comments to go. How are we doing, guys? Sunday night, we having fun? We're drinking, doing the Lord's work, you know? That's true, we are. We are. Where are my tequila drinkers in this room? in a silence. There's a lot of domestic violence in this room and I like it. I do. I do. That's why I had to stop drinking tequila. Not specifically domestic violence, but because I make bad choices on it. Right? I think we've all been there, you know? And even when I try to do something awesome, it blows up in my face. You know, maybe it's an amorous car ride home with your man, right? You lean over seductively and vomit in his lap. God damn it! I feel like it's like a Christmas or birthday present. Thump, it counts here, man. My heart was in the right spot. My gag reflex was not. My bad, you know, my bad. I just clear it off. It's cool. And I don't, I don't mean to talk about alcohol like a lush, but like I've been babysitting my niece a lot lately and she's a terrible drinker. <laughs> terrible. I mean, she's six. She'll get better. But right now, she <laughs> leaves her shoes on every time she passes out. I just draw little tiny dicks on her face. <laughs> She's not exempt, okay? She'll learn. Uh, but she plays this game when she's sober that's adorable, man. She'll sit there and spin in circles till she's so dizzy she falls over, but she gets up all like wobbly and does it again and again. And it's so cute to watch, because like those are the moments when like I know she's gonna be a drug addict. And I like that, you know, because I'm looking for a hookup later. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, guys. She sells Girl Scout cookies already, so I'm hoping one day she'll sell pot. That would be like a step down from like heroin to pot, basically. Right? I don't know about you guys. Girl Scout cookie, that's a weakness. Oh, I got a whole freezer full of thin mints, which is a fucked up name for a cookie. Right? That is misleading, okay? <laughs> Call them muffin top mints. <laughs> Still gonna eat them. I just like I just like the foreshadowing, you know, the literary foreshadowing. Uh, no big deal. I love living in San Francisco, you guys, right? When we're winning and everything is good, everyone's happy. Life is lovely. Even our problems are awesome, right? We got a lot of homeless people, right? That's the thing. But the other day, saw a really hot homeless guy. Yeah, talking like nine out of ten. Wood bag, looking good, scruffy. You know what I, mean? I assumed he was artistic, right? Like Jon Snow or something. I don't know. Okay. Like the dirt on his face made his eyes more blue. You guys. Ugh. I fixed myself. I was like, okay, I feel it. And I felt like I had like that, like, that Julia Roberts, Richard Gere moment, a pretty woman. He's the hooker, of course. Uh, but I need a Lotus, right? And I got to pull up in the Lotus, uh, but my Lotus is more on my level. So it would just be like a dollar, like, hey, how you doing? Call me. You know what I mean? Like, I can take you out of this life. Uh, you guys, I saw it going really well for us. You know, we'd have beautiful, scruffy, artistic children. I'd integrate them into society again, make them a worthy person. It was gonna be awesome, you know? I had, I had high hopes. And then this bastard who did the unthinkable pulled out an iPhone. That's when I realized it was just a dirty hipster. Get the fuck out of here, man. That's like if Julia Roberts had a huge herpes on her face. It wouldn't have worked out, okay? Hipster is a lifestyle choice I don't agree with. I just don't. Homeless is one thing, okay? <laughs> Hipster's quite another. It's the bad music, mostly, I think. In this next statement, it may sound a little hip, you guys, but, like, I was into bacon before they were putting it in milkshakes. You know what I mean? That's been my jam forever, and I feel like now, oh, it's being cheapened by the mainstream media. It's upsetting, like, cause I have a connection to bacon. It's like spiritual, right? Like kind of like the Navajo Indians do with the buffalo, right? They're just like, oh, and just like them, you guys, I use the whole bacon. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about that grease, that good shit, all right? Good. Anytime you're gonna use butter, stop dropping bacon grease, you guys. Not technically working for fires, but everything else is super applicable, okay? It's amazing. I put, put on toast the other day, it was really good. Um, yeah, no, don't, oh, say ooh. <laughs> Here's where the kicker came in. I was on my way to work, and I had run out of perfume, okay? Hey, I can't just roll in there smelling like weed again, you know? Because <laughs> they've warned me twice. Uh, so, I just took a little bit of bacon grease, nothing crazy. I just hit it here, 
boop, boop, and on the wrists. It was magical, you guys. All right? There's a spring in my step, a sparkle in my eye, you know? This man licked my neck on the bus. Get some! And he was like, no, 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 I'm just hungry. And I was like, ooh, that's a blow to the ego, but okay, okay. All right, fair enough, you know? And then when I got home, I saw how well it moisturized. That's when it came to me. Gentlemen, why aren't you masturbating with bacon grease? <laughs> Boom! Right? I, I feel silly too. It's been a premise this whole time. <laughs> Just silly, right? Guys, tell me the truth. Like, if you regularly use some bacon grease down there, don't you think your junk will become seasoned? <laughs> right? Right? Like, I get down there, you've gone through the trouble to flavor it with bacon grease. I don't even have a choice. I'll put my mouth on it. Um, 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 um. I don't want to! Stacking the deck in your favor, you know? Guys, you know what you're doing. And when you go home and try this, and I hope you do, this guy especially is gonna, uh, hey, just wait for that bacon grease to cool off. Hurt your penis. That's not cool. It's not cool. Guys, and I feel like that's maybe why we have a little bit of we have a little bit of penis envy as women. Like I know I can't masturbate with bacon grease. <laughs> no, seriously, it'll fuck you up. Not for us. You know what I mean? That's just one of the many things we have to deal with daily. Right? Like later on tonight, when everything's closed, we're all hammered. Guys are gonna dip into alleyways like it's nothing to pee. No big deal, dudes, right? No big deal for you. Yeah, we know. Okay? For us, a little bit different. Right? This whole junior gymnastics routine you go through, like... <laughs> Just to make sure you don't pee on yourself, and guess what? You're gonna. You're gonna pee on yourself. We're not good at it, guys. I realized why it was so dangerous when I was, like, tequila drunk at the beach. Hovering over sand. One of the vagina's natural enemies. <laughs> right? They don't go long. Because all it takes, right, is a wonky ankle. Just like, oh, no, no! You're never gonna get all the sand out of there, ladies. Sorry about your luck. But if you push through that pain and you persevere, that is how pearls are made. So you have that to look forward to. Thank you so much. I've been left this far.